Dirty Riders started as the CC Riders back in 1975. It was founded by my brothers Jesse Rivera, aka Jesse Red, and my brother T. Suarez, aka DD. The name CC Riders um, comes from a 1970s uh, biker gang film called CC and Company. It wasn't until like 1978 when the brothers, when the CC Riders and two other brothers that had their own club came together to form the Dirty Riders. Now, there were 13 original members to begin with. There was 12 brothers and one sister. She went by the name of Etchie. Dirty Rider Turf, Coney Island is about a mile and a half, yeah, about a mile and a half long. You have Seagate, which is like a gated community type of thing. But you have Neptune, you have Mermaid and Surf Avenues. The Dirty Rider Clubhouse was located on West 21st Street. But when it came to the bulwark, they kind of had it locked down all the way to Brighton. Brighton Beach was one of the main hangouts, but it it, it it surpassed that. It went towards, they had it locked down all the way down to Manhattan Beach, reaching Sheepshead Bay. And we're gonna talk more about that as we go on. The Dirty Rider colors. Our colors were red and white, which was the same as the Homicide Outlaw. And it was kept that way for the love and respect of Jesse's brothers, Outlaw and Dead Eyes. Now the original center patch had three skulls in it, which also was paying homage to the Homicide Outlaws, which was the center skull with the Outlaw hat on. The other two on each side had rebel hats, and it represented the Young Outlaws, which was Sucio's club, and Kokolo had the Young Homicide. My brother Sucio, aka Dirty Outlaw, had his own club. His club was called the Young Outlaws. And my brother Kokolo as well had his own club. And it was called the Young Homicides, which it was affiliated with the actual Homicide Incorporated. That's how they all came about to form the Dirty Riders. Brother clubs and enemies. Let's start with the brother clubs. We were brother clubs with uh, the Dirty Ones out in Sunset. Also, uh, the Devil's Rebels, Crazy Homicides from East New York, the Crazy Bishops, the FMDs, Filthy Mad Dogs, and there was a crew called CBS. Then they went by the name of uh, Can't Be Stopped. For enemy clubs, the Assassinators, the Turban Saints, the Recon Saints, the Bloody Leopards, 42nd Street Boys, the Playboys, the Ball Busters, there was a crew called Rolling Dancers, aka Really Down. If any of our brother clubs had beef with any of those, you know, any other clubs, then we had beef with them as well. Good or sad memories. Good memories was basically hanging out with the brothers, um, partying all night, things of that nature, or um, hanging out at the uh, infamous Polar Express. If you know about the Polar Express, then you know it was definitely a Coney Island thing, and uh, a lot of shit went down at that spot. But. Uh, as for sad memories, man, the tragic death of Jesse's brother, George Outlaw Rivera, who passed away in uh, 1979. I think it was in September of 79. And the tragic death of uh, one of the brother club members uh, from the Crazy Bishops. He went by the name of Fat Man. And just, you know, gang and crew members, man, too numerous to mention. Other divisions, 
we had uh, a division out in the Bronx. Uh, shout out to uh, Dusty and Papo. And there was a brother named Billy Blanco. There was also a uh, division which basically completes the, the second question on, on turf, which was a white boy division in the uh, Sheepshead Bay, Brooklyn area. Um, when I was speaking on the turf, um, when it came to the bulwark from Brighton Beach to Manhattan Beach all the way to Sheepshead, it was all dirty riders. And um, that's how they started the, uh, the white boy division from there. Uh, and I think uh, T had a division out in Brighton Beach as well. Rumbles, okay. Whenever we saw or ran into the assassinators, it was on. It didn't matter where it was. It could be two dirty riders against five assassinators, things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? But um, that was one of the main, main, main uh, clubs that that dirty riders really went at it with. And um, going back to question four on brother clubs and enemies. It was like that with, with clubs that like uh, really down, which was, uh, they, they were enemies with FMDs. So we basically went at it with them, um, as well as the 42nd Street Boys, the Bull Busters and shit like that, who had beef with our brother club, the Crazy Bishops. Now, Sucio was notorious in catching wreck on his own. I mean, that was, that was his thing. Um, the brother would come back to Coney Island with a few vests, mad MC boots. I mean, after stripping other gang members, that was his thing, man. He called it going shopping. And that's 100% facts right there. Shout out to my brother, Sucio. Members who passed. First off, um, our brother T. He was the founder and prize. Golo, he was Warlord, and uh, the Vice Pres Patak, rest in peace to those brothers. Um, Jesse uh, had some crew members that never wore colors, but they were definitely writers. And uh, there were three brothers that held them down, and um, they went by the names of Fat Man, Rebel, and Severn. Severn was part of the Polar Express crew. He used to DJ and so on. Rest in peace to them brothers, man. And rest in peace to all the brothers that have passed on since, man. Shout outs. Jesse would like to give a shout out to his three big brothers. Outlaw, Dead Eyes, and um, Savage. To Big Man, to Big Panama, and to Chino and Twin of the Dirty One. Me, myself, Telly Rock, I would like to give a shout out to my brother Abel, aka Baby Outlaw, I love you fam. To my brother Sucio, I appreciate you, my brother. Mad love and appreciation to my brothers Rick and Ricky, to Bablito and Little Wally, to my brother Mino and Football, aka Viejo. Love you, brothers. Basically, to all the riders, man. All the riders that, that, that came and went, man. Shout out to Moonhead. Um, big shout out to my brother Case of the FMDs. And um, man, there's so, so, so much that I can't even think of. But last but not least, I want to give a shout out to uh, Jesse, my brother Jesse, for letting me do this. Um, I love you, my brother. I appreciate you as well. And to my brother King Class, man, keep doing what you're doing, bro. One love.